Portugal to the Indy in Brazil. A Weekly Show by Geisa Fernandes. Episode 21 Easter Eggs Do you really need them? How to find it out in three simple steps. Yeah, that's right, I didn't say five or ten simple steps, only three. You don't need more than three steps to find out if you really need to hide that Easter egg inside your song. This is going to be a talk about composition, this is going to be a talk about making choices in general, making choices in music in particular. So let's get started. First thing, I assume that you are familiar with the idea of Easter eggs in music, either in the song, in the arrangement, the melody, or in the lyrics itself, hiding some small piece of information that not everybody will get, but the true real fans will. It's a bit funny, I know. I like searching for hidden easter eggs in the songs and bands I love, and I must confess I like doing it myself. But in order to avoid overuse, it's always very wise to ask yourself a few questions, and that brings us to step number one. Does anyone need that easter egg? All right, let's illustrate it with a person and quite updated example. One of my songs is called So Now. If this title sounds familiar, that's because you're thinking of a tune from Miles Dave's called So What? And yes, this tune has been the reference for mine, So Now, but not a musical reference. So Now is about a couple breaking up, and in my imagination, during this scene described by my tune, The couple would be listening to Miles Dave's So What? Basically, the Easter egg was already in the conception of the song, and I wanted it to be present somehow to the listener. So in the intro of my So Now, there are some key notes that build up the atmosphere of Miles tune and, of course, the game with the words now and what, then it works in every way. So now, so what? Now what? So what? You got the idea, and the answer to that first question, do I really need this easter egg, was in this case a big yes, of course I need it. So let's go to step number two. What does hiding really mean? Let's take the so now example again. Placing the Easter eggs in the intro of the song was, well, let's say, not quite a top-class spy drop. And you may call it more a reference than a real Easter egg. And you know what? You are probably right. But for me, that was where they made sense. So the question here is, how difficult or how easy Do you want to make it to the listener? And don't get me wrong, I don't think people always have to give the easiest version of everything. I think that sometimes uh, extra work leads to amazing results. It may even provide a special bonding between listeners and artists. And I think that's great. But I don't think we always have to make it the most difficult ever to our listeners. Sometimes, easy and breezy, it's all so beautiful. And, by the way, beauty is the key word that will bring us to step number three. Ask yourself if by hiding those easter eggs, your song is And pay attention because I will give you three possibilities here. After placing my hidden easter eggs, my song is A. More beautiful B. Quite beautiful still C. Well, you know, things change, but wow! 
If the answer is not A, my friend, forget it. You don't need a sister egg. And because we're talking about beauty, let's go to the final treat. A song by master composer, singer, cultural icon from Brazil, Francisco Buarque de Holanda, also known as Chico Buarque. The tune is called A Mais Bonita, in a free translation, the most beautiful one. No Easter eggs hidden here, just a beautiful tune. Relax and enjoy it. Thank you very much for staying with me so far. Till next week, and for now, with special Easter greetings, um beijo! Jesus Fernandes.